What's going on guys, Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update as what I do here is 100% Cardano information. And if you get some value from it, please do consider giving it a like and a share or even comment and let me know your thoughts down below. So what I'm going to cover today is the saturation level. So we the K value changed a few days ago it went to k equal to 500 and there is still a bit of confusion out there over what the saturation level means for you so what i'm going to do is break this down simply talk about what the saturation level is what it actually means for you i'll give an example of that as well to show what it would do to your rewards and then i'll talk about how you can look at your own pool and find out if your pool is saturated and what you need to do then to move away from the saturated pool and get into a pool where you earn maximum rewards. So first up, what is the saturation level? That is the important question to ask. So the saturation level is currently 64 million ADA live stake. So when you're looking at some of the tools, there is an active stake and a live stake. So live stake is the one that you need to look at there. What does it mean to be in a saturated pool? First off, you will not lose any of your staked ADA by being in a saturated pool. The ADA you stake is safe, but in simple terms, what it means to be in a saturated pool is that you are going to earn less rewards. And I do have an example of that up on the next screen. So how do you check if your pool is saturated? So you can check the saturation percentage in Daedalus, which I will show you on screen now in a minute, or you can use sites like adapools.org, pooltools.io or pool.pm. These are three really good websites to use that I use on a consistent basis. So an example of being a saturated pool, what does this actually mean for you? So when I done my video before about the K increase coming, I used these same figures and I'll say the same thing again. So these figures, the delegator rewards of 50K I've just set this number here. This is not 100% accurate of that you would get 50K rewards for 64 million. So I'm just using these numbers just as an example because some people prefer to see it straight in front of them, what it actually means in terms of rewards. So we've two pools here. We've pool A with 64 million live stick, which is on the saturation level. Now I'm not saying you should ever delegate to a pool that's on 64 million. Up next, I'm going to tell you the numbers that I would personally look at. Pool B then has 100 million ADA, which is way oversaturated. So the delegator rewards for pool A for an epoch is 50K ADA. And pool B with 100 million ADA in it is still going to only get 50K ADA as well. So when you break that down then with these example numbers, each ADA staked in pool A is going to earn 0.00078125 ADA. Whereas each ADA in pool B is going to earn 0.0005 of an ADA. When you bring this back up a level, so if you had 10K ADA delegated to pool A, you would get 7.8125 ADA in rewards. Whereas if that was in pool B, you would only get five ADA. So this shows you that if you're in a saturated pool, you are going to be earning less rewards. This is actually a really good pool.pm do this really well i think at the top of their site i will show you their site in a minute but here's just a screen grab of it where it shows you this pool is way oversaturated with 150 million ada and 57 percent of the rewards are lost every epoch in this pool so what you what should you look for when you are if you were in a pool that's saturated you're looking to move Look for a pool that's under 64 million ADA live stake. Now, I would never say go for a pool that's at 64 or 60. I would say 50 million is the max live stake I would personally look at. And I, for me personally, I would be looking even lower than that. I do encourage everyone to consider delegating to some of these smaller pools, pools that are under 10 million. Some of the reasons for this are you don't have to constantly worry and check your pool, to see is it getting near to saturation? Because if a pool is under 10 million, it is a long way to go to the saturation level. And once that pool is producing blocks, then you should still get the same type of rewards that you would get with some of the bigger pools as well. You can check all of them stats on pool tool and ADA pools as well. Supporting small pools really does help decentralization of the network. 
and you also help support the pool's work. So different pools have different causes. Some have charity causes, some have projects within the community. Example of my own is that I put out educational content on Cardano. So everyone that stakes to my pool, Paul, it really does help support that work. So now I'm gonna jump over to the screen and I'm gonna show you how you check your own pool if it is saturated in and what you need to do. So first up, we're looking at Daedalus here. So when you come into Daedalus and you go into the delegation section and you go to staking pools, you can see all of the pools listed here. And you can see I am delegated to Paul, which is my own pool. I can click on that. And I can see this here is the level, saturation level of 1.77%. So way below saturation level and lots of room for new delegators. If I come to, let's take ACL as an example, it's on 91.77%. So getting very close to the saturation level, it's not a pool I would personally consider. And that has nothing to do with the pool. It is simply based on the saturation level. Pool.pm, which I mentioned and showed the screenshot in the slides, and this is one of the Binance pools. So I don't mind calling out an exchange pool. They need to get a move on and get this changed. You can see they have 150 million ADA in this pool and they are earning 57% or they're losing 57% of the rewards every epoch based on this. Other sites to use are uh, pooltool.io and ADA pools. Both of these have really good features as well for looking. So what I was saying about looking for a smaller pool. So they have a feature here to show smaller pools and to hide saturated pools as well, which is really good. You can also come into advanced filtering here and you can look for, where is it gone? Live stake here. So you can move this down. So even if you want under 50, so you would move that down to 50, submit that and look at the pools then, or you can pull it right down to 10 million and submit that. And what it will do then is bring back all the pools that are under 10 million live stake. You can look through here and find a pool that matches what you want to do yourself. Maybe you just want to set and forget. Again, if you are delegating to a pool, I would say make sure and join their Telegram group so you get regular updates. Some people have email lists. I've set up an email list for mine as well. I haven't started using it yet, but once the pool grows, then I will be sending out important information there as well. So. Follow the social profiles of the pools that you join just to keep up to date in case you do have to move at some stage. But I hope this has been a help guys and any feedback on it, leave a comment down below with any questions. I'll get back as soon as I can. I may do a full blog post on this. If I do, that will be linked down below as well. So consider sharing, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.